My child, there is someone in your life whose actions may not align with their words. They appear close to you, but their intentions are veiled, hidden behind smiles and kind gestures. It is important to open your heart to my guidance and observe with clarity. Sometimes, what you perceive as good may be a facade, and I need you to trust the instincts I have placed within you. Do not ignore the small signs that something may be wrong, for I am giving you this wisdom for a reason. I am always watching over you, and it is my desire that you remain protected. Trust in the intuition that I have gifted you, and remember that not every person in your life is meant to stay. There will be moments when you must distance yourself from those who seek to deceive or harm you spiritually and emotionally. It is not an act of selfishness to protect yourself, but an act of self-love and faith in my plan. Be vigilant and let go of what does not serve your spiritual growth. I am your shield and I will reveal the truth to you in the right moment. You may feel uncertain or confused when faced with the reality that someone close to you may not have the purest intentions. In these moments, I ask you to lean on me. My love is constant and unchanging, and I will always direct your path. Do not allow yourself to be consumed by fear or anxiety, for these emotions are tools the enemy uses to cloud your mind. Instead, focus on prayer, seeking wisdom, and listening to the still, small voice that plays within your spirit. The key to navigating this challenge lies in staying connected to me through faith. You do not have to confront the situation alone. I am here to walk beside you, to give you the strength and courage to act when necessary. Sometimes, the hardest decisions are the ones that lead to the greatest peace. Trust that as you distance yourself from harmful influences, you are making room for my light and love to fill those empty spaces. This is a moment of clarity for you, a time to discern what is true and what is not. In the coming days, as you pray and reflect, you will find answers. I will illuminate the paths that you should take, and I will expose the deception that you have sensed. But I need you to remain firm in faith, understanding that I am always at work in your life, even when you cannot see the full picture yet. If you believe that I am guiding you through this, right I am strong and protected by God's love. Remember that with me, no harm can prevail. My beloved, I see the negative energies swirling around you, trying to disturb your peace and disrupt your spirit. These forces do not come from me, and they seek to lead you away from the calm and clarity that I offer. But do not fear. You are not alone in this battle. I am with you, ready to dispel every shadow that tries to invade your heart and mind. All I ask is that you turn to me, fully trusting in the power of my love and protection. You may have felt moments of unrest or heaviness lately, as though something is weighing down on your soul. This is not your imagination. There are spiritual forces at play, seeking to unsettle you. But know this, no force, no matter how strong it appears, can stand against the power of my love. I have placed my angels around you, and their presence is a shield of light. Call on me in times of trouble, and I will send them to strengthen and protect you. To dispel these energies, you must reaffirm your faith daily. Surround yourself with the light of prayer and meditation on my word. The enemy seeks to find cracks in your armor, places where doubt and fear can creep in. But with faith, these cracks will be sealed. Stand firm in your belief, for I am the source of your strength. My light is stronger than any darkness you may face, and when you invoke my name, that darkness must flee. I want you to take practical steps to cleanse your environment as well. Remove anything that causes you to feel distant from me or unsettled in spirit. Whether it's certain habits, distractions, or relationships that bring negativity into your life, it's time to let them go. As you release these burdens, you make room for my peace to flow into every area of your life. 
your surroundings will reflect the serenity of your soul. Finally, remember that peace is a state of mind, one that you must actively cultivate. When you feel the weight of the world closing in, breathe deeply and call on me. I am your refuge and I will give you rest. Your peace is precious to me and I will help you maintain it no matter what forces try to come against it. Trust that my presence will fill your home and your heart with a calm that no storm can shake. If you believe that peace is entering your life today, write God's peace surrounds me and my home. My dear one, I know the concerns you carry about your health, both physical and spiritual. There have been moments of struggle where you have felt weak or worried about what might come next. But I am here to remind you that I am the great healer. Your body and soul are precious to me, and I want you to take care of them both. Do not ignore the signals your body sends you, for they are important, but also remember that the state of your spirit plays a significant role in your well-being. Health is not only about what happens in your body, but also about the strength of your spirit. When your faith is strong, it can help you withstand the challenges that life brings. I want you to be mindful of the balance between your physical health and your spiritual health. Take time to care for both. Nourish your body with good habits and nourish your spirit with prayer, reflection, and connection with me. Challenges may arise, but know that they are not meant to break you. Sometimes, these difficulties are opportunities for you to draw closer to me. When you face illness or weakness, do not despair. Instead, see it as a moment to deepen your trust in me. I am always working for your good, even in times of pain. I will turn your suffering into strength, your weakness into resilience, and your fears into faith. Take practical steps to protect your health. Listen to your body and rest when needed. Seek wisdom in caring for yourself, but always remember to bring your concerns to me in prayer. I have placed doctors and healers in your life for a reason, but I am the ultimate healer. Together, we will navigate any challenges, and I will provide you with the strength to overcome them. Spiritually, remain vigilant. The enemy loves to attack when you are feeling weak, but I am stronger than any attack. Keep your faith alive through daily communion with me, through prayer, through reading my word. Surround yourself with people who encourage you to stay strong in your walk of faith. When you prioritize your spiritual health, it will flow into every other area of your life, bringing restoration and peace. If you believe that I am restoring your health and strength, right, I am healed and strengthened by God's power. My child, there is a power in surrender that you may not yet fully understand. To surrender to me is not a sign of weakness, but a sign of profound trust. I have so many blessings waiting for you, but you must open your heart and allow me to work in every part of your life. When you hold on too tightly to control, you close yourself off to the abundance I have prepared for you. Let go and trust in my plan. It can be difficult to surrender, especially when you feel the need to protect yourself or to control the outcome of situations in your life. But I ask you to release that burden. I am more capable than you can imagine, and when you give me your worries, your fears, and your plans, I will transform them into something beautiful. Surrendering is not giving up, but giving over, giving over your heart, your dreams, and your troubles to me knowing that I will lead you to a place of peace and fulfillment. The blessings I have for you are greater than anything you could ever plan for yourself. But you must trust in my timing and my ways. It may not always look like what you expected, but I assure you, it will be far better than anything you could have imagined. When you allow me to take control, I will open doors that you never thought possible, and I will close doors that were leading you in the wrong direction. Trust that every step is part of my divine plan for your life. I understand that it can be hard to let go, especially when you have been hurt in the past. 
You may fear that surrendering will lead to more pain, but I am here to heal those wounds. I am here to take the weight off your shoulders, to lift the burdens that you have carried for so long. When you give yourself to me, you are not stepping into the unknown, you are stepping into the arms of a loving father who only wants what is best for you. Let this be a time of transformation. As you surrender, watch how I work in your life. Watch how I turn what was broken into something whole, how I take your struggles and use them to create something beautiful. Your surrender is the key to unlocking all the blessings I have in store for you. You have nothing to fear when you are in my hands. If you are ready to surrender and receive my blessings, right I trust in God's plan for my life. My beloved, you are stronger than you know, and it is through the trials of life that you will discover this strength. I know that the challenges you face may seem overwhelming at times, but remember, I am with you through every storm. These moments of hardship are not meant to destroy you, but to refine you. In the midst of your struggles, I am shaping you, molding you into the person I created you to be. There is growth in every difficulty, if you allow yourself to see it. When you face trials, it is an opportunity to deepen your faith and trust in me. The enemy will try to use these moments to create doubt, to make you question my presence and my love. But I am here, closer than ever. In your weakness, I am your strength. In your confusion, I am your clarity. Let each trial be a chance to draw nearer to me, to lean on me when you feel like you can't stand on your own. Every challenge you encounter is a step on the path of spiritual maturity. I do not give you more than you can handle, for I am always by your side, ready to carry you when the burden becomes too heavy. When you look back on these moments, you will see how they shaped you, how they strengthened your faith and deepened your relationship with me. Do not despise the difficulties, for they are opportunities for growth. I want you to approach each trial with a heart of trust. You may not understand why you are going through certain situations, but trust that I am using every single one for your good. There is no wasted pain when you are in my hands. Even your tears are precious to me. I will turn your mourning into joy, your sorrow into peace. But you must hold on to your faith, knowing that I am at work even in the darkest moments. This is your time to rise, to strengthen your spiritual muscles, and to become the person I know you can be. Do not run from the challenges, face them with the knowledge that I am right there with you. The more you rely on me, the more you will see my power working in your life. Together, we will overcome every obstacle. If you believe that your trials are leading to spiritual growth, right I am growing stronger in God's love every day. My dear one, forgiveness is one of the most powerful tools I have given you, and yet it is often one of the hardest to use. I know that you have been hurt, that others have wronged you in ways that may seem unforgivable. But I am asking you to let go of that hurt. Not for their sake, but for yours. Forgiveness is not about excusing the wrong that has been done to you, it is about freeing yourself from the chains of bitterness and resentment. When you hold on to anger and pain, it weighs you down. It clouds your heart and your mind, making it harder for you to experience the fullness of the blessings I have for you. Forgiveness does not mean forgetting what has happened, but it does mean releasing the power that the past has over you. When you forgive, you open your heart to healing, to peace, and to the joy that I want to pour into your life. I know it can be hard to forgive, especially when the pain feels so fresh. But I want you to remember how much I have forgiven you. Every mistake, every wrong turn, every moment of doubt, I have washed them all away with my love. And just as I have forgiven you, I ask you to extend that same grace to others. Forgiveness is a gift, not only to those who have hurt you, but to yourself. It is a key that unlocks the door to peace. You may not feel ready to forgive right now, and that's okay. 
but I want you to start by being willing. Bring your pain to me, and I will help you carry it. In time, I will soften your heart and show you the path to forgiveness. And when you walk that path, you will find a freedom you never thought possible. The burden of holding onto hurt will be lifted, and you will feel lighter, more at peace. Forgiveness is also an act of faith. It is trusting that I will handle the situation, that I will bring justice in my way and in my time. You do not have to carry the weight of retribution or revenge. Leave it in my hands and trust that I will take care of you. Your job is to release the pain and walk in the freedom that forgiveness brings. If you are ready to embrace the healing power of forgiveness, write I forgive and release my burdens to God's love. My child, not every person in your life has been placed there by me. There are those who come into your life with pure hearts and good intentions, but there are also those who may not be as they seem. Discernment is a gift I have given you, a spiritual compass to help you navigate your relationships. It is essential that you use this gift to protect your heart and your spirit. Sometimes, the enemy works through those around you to lead you astray, and I want you to be aware of this. You may have people in your life who bring you joy and peace, but there are others whose presence leaves you feeling drained, unsettled, or confused. These feelings are not to be ignored. They are signs I send to alert you. Pay attention to how you feel when you are around certain people, for your emotions can often be a reflection of the spiritual energy they carry. Not everyone who smiles at you has your best interests at heart. I want you to understand that it's okay to walk away from relationships that no longer serve your growth. You are not obligated to stay in a relationship that pulls you away from your purpose, from your peace, or from me. When you discern that someone's presence in your life is toxic or harmful, I ask you to trust me and let them go. I will guide you to the right people, those who will encourage you, uplift you, and help you grow in faith. Remember that I am always by your side, helping you see the truth. Sometimes, the hardest thing is to admit that someone you care about may not be good for you. But trust that I am doing this for your protection. When you let go of harmful influences, you make space for the people I have chosen to walk with you on this journey. You do not have to do this alone, I am here to guide you every step of the way. Pray for discernment daily. Ask me to reveal the true nature of the people around you, and I will show you. I will bring clarity where there is confusion, and peace where there is conflict. Trust in this process of revelation, even if it's painful at times. Know that I am doing this out of love for you, and I will never leave you without the support you need. If you trust in my guidance to reveal the right people in your life, right God is guiding me to true and loving relationships. My beloved, family is one of the greatest gifts I have given to you. It is through family that you learn about love, forgiveness, and support. But just as family can be a source of strength, it can also be an area where the enemy tries to sow discord. The enemy knows the power of a family united in faith, and he will try to break that unity whenever he can. This is why it is essential to guard your family with prayer and love. Family unity is not always easy. There will be misunderstandings, conflicts, and moments of tension. But I want you to remember that these challenges are opportunities to grow closer, not further apart. When conflicts arise, approach them with love and patience. Do not let anger or resentment take root in your heart, for these are the tools the enemy uses to divide families. Instead, choose forgiveness and understanding, just as I have forgiven and understood you. I encourage you to invest in your family relationships. Spend time together in prayer, share your faith, and encourage one another. A family that prays together stays together. When you invite me into your home and into your relationships, I will bless your family with peace, love, and unity. 
Do not underestimate the power of collective prayer. It can heal wounds, restore relationships, and protect your home from the enemy's attacks. There may be times when you feel distant from certain family members, but I want you to continue praying for them. Even if you do not see immediate results, trust that your prayers are working. I am always at work in the hearts of those you love, even if you cannot see it. Never give up on a family member, for I never give up on you. With love, patience, and faith, you will see transformation. I also want you to protect your family from outside influences that seek to bring negativity into your home. Be mindful of what you allow into your environment, whether it be through media, relationships, or habits. Create a space where my presence can dwell freely and where peace reigns. You have the power to make your home a sanctuary of love and faith. If you believe in the power of family unity, write my family is united in God's love and protection. My child, life is full of challenges, but none of them are greater than the power of your faith. I know there have been times when you have felt overwhelmed, unsure of how you would make it through. But I want you to remember that you are never alone in your struggles. I am always with you, ready to give you the strength, wisdom, and courage you need to face anything that comes your way. The challenges you face are not meant to destroy you, but to build you up. Every difficulty is an opportunity for growth, a chance for you to strengthen your faith and deepen your relationship with me. When you trust in me, even the hardest battles become stepping stones to greater things. I see the bigger picture, and I am guiding you through every trial, even when it feels like you are walking through darkness. When you face challenges, the most important thing you can do is turn to me in prayer. Bring your worries, your fears, and your doubts to me. I will not only give you peace, but I will also give you the clarity to see your way forward. Do not try to carry your burdens alone. I am here to help you, to lighten your load, and to walk with you every step of the way. Sometimes, the solutions to your problems may not come immediately. But trust that I am working on your behalf. Even when you cannot see it, I am moving mountains for you. Your faith is what allows me to act powerfully in your life. The more you trust in me, the more you will see my hand at work, transforming your challenges into victories. In practical terms, I want you to take each day one step at a time. Do not become overwhelmed by the size of the challenge before you. Focus on what you can do today, and leave the rest in my hands. I will give you the strength you need, one day at a time. And as you move forward in faith, you will begin to see how each small step brings you closer to the resolution you seek. If you believe that your challenges are leading to greater faith and strength, write I am overcoming challenges with God's power. My beloved, I know that patience can be difficult. There are things you have been waiting for, dreams and desires that have yet to be fulfilled. At times, you may wonder if I have forgotten you or if I am not listening. But I want you to know that I am always listening and my timing is perfect. Trusting in my timing is one of the greatest acts of faith you can offer, for it shows that you believe I am working for your good even when you cannot see the full picture. There are reasons why certain things have not yet come to pass. Sometimes, I delay things because you are not yet ready for them. Other times, I am preparing something far better than what you are asking for. And still, other times, the timing simply isn't right. But in every case, my plan is for your ultimate good. I see what you cannot, and I am orchestrating every detail of your life with love and wisdom. I understand your frustration when you feel like things aren't moving fast enough. But I want you to trust that every season of waiting has a purpose. During this time, I am shaping you, growing you, and preparing you for what is to come. The waiting is not wasted. 
It is in these moments of stillness that you learn to rely on me completely, to trust in my goodness, and to find peace in my presence. Do not compare your journey to others. Each of my children has a unique path, and what I have planned for you is different from what I have planned for anyone else. When you focus on others, it can lead to discouragement. But when you focus on me, you will find peace in knowing that I am working all things together for your good. What is meant for you will come at exactly the right time. I want you to remain patient and faithful in the waiting. Continue to pray, continue to trust, and continue to believe that I am working on your behalf. The blessings you seek may not come when you expect them, but they will come. And when they do, you will understand why the wait was necessary. My timing is perfect, and I will never be late in delivering the promises I have made to you. If you trust in my timing, right God's timing is perfect, and I trust in His plan. My child, you are in the midst of a spiritual battle, whether you realize it or not. Every day, the enemy seeks to weaken your faith, to plant seeds of doubt, fear, and confusion. But I have given you the tools to stand strong against these attacks. Your faith is your armor, and I want you to strengthen it daily so that you can withstand any attack that comes your way. Your spiritual armor is built through prayer, reflection, and the study of my word. When you make time for these practices, you are fortifying yourself against the enemy's schemes. I have given you the sword of the spirit, which is my word, to cut through the lies and deceit that the enemy tries to bring into your life. Use it daily, and you will find strength and clarity in every situation. I want you to be mindful of what you allow into your mind and heart. Protect yourself from negative influences that seek to weaken your faith. Whether it's certain media, conversations, or thoughts, be intentional about what you consume. Your mind is a battleground, and I want you to fill it with thoughts of peace, love, and truth. This is how you build a strong spiritual defense. Do not forget the power of community. Surround yourself with people who uplift you, who encourage your faith, and who walk with you on this spiritual journey. The enemy tries to isolate you, but I have created you to thrive in community. Together, you are stronger, and together, you can stand against the enemy's attacks. Seek out those who will pray with you, support you, and hold you accountable. Lastly, do not neglect the power of prayer. It is your direct line to me, and through prayer, you are able to tap into the power of heaven. When you pray, you are not only asking for my help, but you are also aligning yourself with my will and receiving the strength to stand firm in your faith. Pray without ceasing, and know that I hear every word. If you are ready to strengthen your spiritual armor, write my faith is my armor, and God is my protector. My child, humility is the key to receiving my guidance. Often, the loud voices of pride and ego can drown out the gentle whisper of my wisdom. I want you to know that I speak to those who approach me with a humble heart, those who are willing to let go of their need to control and who are open to my direction. Humility is not weakness, it is the strength to recognize that you do not have all the answers, but that I do. When you humble yourself before me, you open the door to greater understanding and deeper revelations. I want to guide you, but I need you to be still and listen. Too often, you rush ahead, trying to solve things on your own. But I am here, always ready to offer the answers you seek, if only you would pause and listen. In the quiet of your soul, you will hear me. I speak not in thunderous commands, but in the stillness of your heart. Humility also means being open to correction. There may be times when I need to redirect your path or correct your course. This is not because you have failed, but because I want to lead you towards something better. Do not resist this guidance out of pride or fear. Trust that my plans for you are good and that every correction is made in love. 
When you receive my direction with humility, you grow stronger in spirit. In your interactions with others, let humility guide you as well. Be slow to speak and quick to listen. Do not seek to prove yourself right, but instead seek understanding and peace. Humility in your relationships will open doors to healing and reconciliation. It will allow you to see others through my eyes, with love and compassion, rather than through the lens of judgment and criticism. Lastly, humility is the foundation of faith. It takes humility to trust me completely, to admit that you cannot do it all on your own. This is where true faith begins, when you surrender your plans, your fears, and your desires to me, believing that I will lead you in the right direction. Humility allows my strength to work through you, and with it, there is nothing you cannot overcome. If you are ready to embrace humility and receive my guidance, right I humble myself before God and trust His wisdom. My beloved, I see the wounds that others have left on your heart. There have been times when you have been wronged, misunderstood, or betrayed, and the pain has lingered. It is natural to feel hurt, but I want to speak to you today about the dangers of letting that hurt turn into bitterness. Bitterness is like a poison that slowly takes over your heart, robbing you of the joy and peace I desire for you. When you hold on to anger and resentment, it begins to change you from the inside out. You may not notice it at first, but bitterness hardens your heart, making it difficult for you to love freely, to forgive, and to experience my grace fully. I understand your pain, but I also want to help you release it before it consumes you. Bitterness does not hurt the person who wronged you, it only hurts you. The antidote to bitterness is forgiveness. I know this is not easy, and I am not asking you to forget the wrongs that have been done to you. But I am asking you to let go of the hold that these hurts have on your heart. When you forgive, you are not excusing the actions of others, you are freeing yourself from the chains of resentment. Forgiveness opens the door to healing, both emotionally and spiritually. In addition to forgiveness, I want you to protect your heart by guarding your thoughts. Do not dwell on the wrongs that have been done to you. Instead, focus on the blessings I have placed in your life. Bitterness grows when you fixate on what is lacking or what has been lost. Gratitude, on the other hand, opens your heart to my presence and my peace. Shift your perspective, and you will find that your heart becomes lighter. I want you to know that I am with you through every hurt, and I am more than capable of healing your wounds. Trust in my ability to bring justice, to mend relationships, and to restore what has been broken. Leave the weight of bitterness at my feet, and I will replace it with joy and peace beyond your understanding. If you are ready to let go of bitterness and embrace peace, Right, I release bitterness and trust in God's healing power. My dear one, I have placed within you a heart capable of great love and compassion. Compassion is one of the highest forms of love, for it goes beyond sympathy and moves into action. I want you to use this gift of compassion to reach out to those who are hurting, those who feel lost or forgotten. When you show compassion, you are reflecting my heart, and in doing so, you bring light into the darkness. There will always be those around you who need kindness, whether they show it or not. Some may be struggling with burdens you cannot see, and others may have hardened themselves to the world because of past pain. But I see them, and I am calling you to see them through my eyes as well. Your simple acts of compassion, whether a kind word, a helping hand, or a prayer can make a profound difference in someone's life. Compassion is not always easy. It may require you to go out of your way, to sacrifice your time or resources, or even to forgive those who have hurt you. But know this, every act of compassion is a seed planted in my name. And I am the one who causes those seeds to grow. You may not always see the results right away, but trust that your kindness will bear fruit in ways you cannot imagine. I also want you to have compassion for yourself. 
Too often, you are harder on yourself than you are on others. You expect perfection, and when you fall short, you are quick to judge yourself. But I am not asking for perfection, I am asking for a heart that is willing to love, to grow, and to learn. Show yourself the same compassion that you would show a friend in need. I am with you in your struggles, and I am proud of your efforts. Remember that compassion is not a sign of weakness, but a reflection of my strength within you. The world may see kindness as vulnerability, but I see it as power. When you act in love, you are participating in my work, spreading my light in a world that desperately needs it. Let your heart remain open, and do not let the hardness of the world close it off. If you are ready to share compassion with others, write I share God's love and compassion with the world. My child, there may be times in your spiritual journey when you feel distant from me, when the vibrant connection we once had seems faded or dull. This is what some call a spiritual dryness, a season when it feels like your prayers are going unanswered or when my presence feels far away. I want you to know that this season is not a punishment, nor is it a sign that I have left you. I am always with you, even when you cannot feel me. Spiritual dryness is often a time of deepening, though it may not feel that way at first. It is during these times that your faith is tested and strengthened. When you continue to seek me, even when it feels like I am silent, you are demonstrating the kind of faith that grows roots deep into the soil of trust. This is the faith that will carry you through the hardest storms of life. Do not give up when you feel dry or distant. Continue to pray, even when the words feel empty. Continue to worship, even when you don't feel the joy. I am still listening, and your persistence is a powerful testament to your trust in me. Know that I am working in you, even in the silence. This is a time for you to lean not on your feelings, but on the truth of my word. I have promised never to leave you, and I will fulfill that promise. Use this time to reflect on your spiritual practices. Sometimes, dryness comes because you have become too busy or distracted to spend meaningful time with me. Return to the basics, prayer, reading my word, and quiet reflection. Make space for me in your daily life, and you will find that the dryness begins to lift. Even in seasons of silence, I am speaking. I am teaching you to trust me, even when the path is unclear. There is also great value in community during these times. Surround yourself with people who can encourage you in your faith. Do not isolate yourself when you feel spiritually dry. Instead, seek the support and prayers of others who can help lift you up. You do not have to walk this season alone, and I have placed people in your life for this very reason. If you are committed to persevering through spiritual dryness, write I trust God even in the silence. My beloved, every season of your life has a purpose. There are times of growth and times of rest, times of joy and times of challenge. But in every season, I am working in your life, shaping you for something greater. I want you to know that even when it feels like you are standing still, I am moving in ways you cannot yet see. Trust that there is a purpose for where you are right now. You may be in a season of waiting where it feels like nothing is happening. This can be frustrating, but I want you to remember that waiting is not wasted time. During these seasons, I am often preparing you for what comes next. It is in the waiting that you learn patience, trust, and reliance on me. Do not rush through this season, instead, embrace it as a time of preparation and growth. There may be other seasons where you are asked to step out in faith, to take bold actions in alignment with my will. These seasons require courage, but they are also full of opportunities to see my power at work in your life. When I call you to move, trust that I have already paved the way. Every step you take in faith brings you closer to the fulfillment of the purpose I have set for you. In every season, whether one of waiting or action, 
I want you to be faithful with what I have given you. Sometimes, the smallest tasks or the quietest moments are the most significant. Do not despise the day of small beginnings. Each act of obedience, no matter how small, is part of my larger plan for your life. Trust that I see your faithfulness, and I will reward it in due time. As you walk through different seasons, remember that I am constant. I do not change even when your circumstances do. My love for you remains steady, and my plan for your life is unfolding exactly as it should. Keep your eyes on me, and trust that I am leading you toward a future filled with hope and purpose. If you believe that God is working in your current season, right, I trust God's purpose for my life. My child, gratitude is a powerful spiritual practice that opens the door to deeper joy and peace. When you focus on what you have been blessed with, instead of what you lack, you shift your perspective to one of abundance. I have given you many gifts, and I want you to cultivate a heart of thankfulness. Gratitude not only honors me, but also transforms your spirit. It is easy to get caught up in the challenges of life and to focus on what is difficult or painful. But I want to remind you that there is always something to be grateful for, even in the hardest times. When you take a moment to thank me for the small things, a new day, the love of a friend, the beauty of nature, you begin to see that I am always with you, providing for your needs. Gratitude is also a form of faith. When you thank me for what I have already done, you are expressing trust that I will continue to provide for you in the future. It shifts your heart from worry to trust, from fear to confidence. You cannot control every circumstance, but you can control how you respond. And when you respond with gratitude, you open the door to more blessings. I want you to practice gratitude daily. Start your day by thanking me for the breath in your lungs, for the opportunities before you, and for my constant presence in your life. End your day by reflecting on the moments of joy, peace, or comfort, no matter how small. When you make gratitude a habit, you will find that your spirit is lighter, your heart is more open, and your faith is stronger. Gratitude also brings healing. It is difficult to hold on to bitterness, resentment, or fear when your heart is full of thankfulness. When you focus on what is good, you begin to release the negative emotions that weigh you down. Let gratitude become a source of healing and peace in your life. If you are ready to embrace the power of gratitude, right, I am grateful for God's blessings in my life. My beloved, integrity is the foundation of a life lived in alignment with my will. It is the practice of being true to who you are in me, even when no one is watching. I want you to walk in integrity in every aspect of your life, your thoughts, your words, and your actions. When you live with integrity, you reflect my character to the world, and you bring glory to my name. Integrity requires honesty not only with others, but with yourself. There may be times when you are tempted to cut corners, to hide the truth, or to act in ways that are not in line with your values. But I call you to a higher standard. I call you to live in truth, even when it is difficult. When you walk in truth, you build trust with others and with me. I understand that living with integrity is not always easy, especially in a world that often rewards dishonesty or shortcuts. But know this, I see your efforts, and I will reward your faithfulness. You may not always see immediate results, but integrity lays a foundation that cannot be shaken. My beloved, I know that the unknown can be frightening. There are times in your life when you may not see the path ahead clearly, and uncertainty grips your heart. But I want you to remember that while you may not know what tomorrow holds, I do. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and I have already walked the path you are on. You can trust me fully, even when you cannot see the outcome. I understand your desire for control, but sometimes I ask you to surrender that need to me. 
Trust is born in moments of uncertainty, in those times when you choose to believe that I am working behind the scenes, even when you cannot see it. When you trust me, you are placing your faith not in your own understanding, but in my infinite wisdom and love for you. Let go of the anxiety that comes with uncertainty. You do not have to carry the weight of tomorrow's worries. I have asked you to trust in me for your daily bread, and I will provide for each day as it comes. Worry only robs you of the peace I am offering you today. Surrender your fears to me and let my peace fill your heart and mind. I want you to know that uncertainty is often a time of growth. It is in these moments that your faith is stretched and your dependence on me deepens. When you walk through uncertain times, you learn to trust me more fully, to rely on my strength rather than your own. These are the times when you discover how deeply I care for you and how I will always provide a way. Do not rush ahead of me. Stay present in each moment, knowing that I am guiding your steps. Even when the way seems unclear, I am directing you. Trust in the process and know that I am leading you toward the plans I have prepared for you, plans to prosper you and give you hope. I am with you in every uncertainty and I will never leave your side. If you trust me in times of uncertainty, right, I trust God's plan even when I cannot see the way. My child, patience is a virtue that I desire you to cultivate in your heart. I know that waiting can be difficult, especially when you long for answers, change, or fulfillment. But I want you to remember that patience is not just about waiting, it is about trusting in my timing. When you wait with patience, you are placing your hope in me, believing that I am working all things together for your good. Patience is an act of faith. It is the quiet confidence that I am in control, even when things seem delayed or uncertain. When you grow impatient, it is often because you want things to happen on your schedule, but I ask you to trust my perfect timing. What you see as a delay, I see as preparation. I am working in ways you cannot see, and I will bring about the right results at the right time. In moments of waiting, I want you to focus on what I am doing in your heart. Patience develops perseverance, and perseverance builds character. These are qualities that will strengthen your faith and prepare you for the blessings I have in store. When you learn to wait on me, you are also learning to trust me more deeply. Do not despise the waiting seasons. They are times of growth and reflection, times for you to draw closer to me. Use these moments to deepen your prayer life, to seek my guidance, and to cultivate a heart of gratitude for what I am already doing. When you wait with expectation, you will see how I am at work in the small details of your life. Patience is also important in your relationships with others. Show grace to those around you, understanding that everyone is on their own journey. Just as I am patient with you, I ask you to be patient with others. This will strengthen your relationships and allow my love to flow through you in powerful ways. If you believe in the power of patience, right, I trust in God's timing and wait with patience. My dear one, I know there are times when you feel weak and overwhelmed. Life can be challenging, and there are moments when you may feel like you don't have the strength to continue. But I want to remind you that my strength is made perfect in your weakness. You do not have to rely on your own power, for I am here to carry you through every trial. When you feel weak, that is why I am strongest in your life. Your limitations are not obstacles to me, they are opportunities for my power to shine through. I invite you to come to me in your weakness, to surrender your burdens at my feet. You do not have to do this alone. I am your refuge, your strength, and your ever-present help in times of need. There is beauty in vulnerability. When you admit your need for me, you open the door to my grace. I will never turn you away when you come to me in humility, asking for help. In fact, it is in these moments that I am closest to you. My grace is sufficient for every situation you face, and I will provide exactly what you need, 
exactly when you need it. Do not be ashamed of your weakness. It is a reminder that you are human and that you need me. I have created you to rely on me, not to bear the weight of the world on your own shoulders. When you surrender your weakness to me, I will give you the strength to overcome any challenge. What seems impossible to you is always possible with me. Take heart, my child. I am with you in every struggle, and I will never leave you. When you feel like you cannot take another step, know that I am carrying you. Together, we will move forward, and you will see how my strength sustains you through every trial. If you are ready to find strength in God, right God's strength carries me through every weakness. My child, I know how much you rely on what you can see, hear, and touch in this world. But I want to remind you that walking in faith means trusting in me, even when you cannot see the full picture. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I am calling you to walk by faith and not by sight. There will be times when circumstances seem uncertain, when the road ahead is unclear. In those moments, I ask you to trust that I am guiding your steps. Just because you cannot see the outcome does not mean I am not working. Trust is believing in my promises, even when they are not yet visible. I have a plan for your life, and every step you take in faith brings you closer to it. Walking by faith requires you to let go of your need for control. I know this is not easy, but I ask you to trust me more than you trust your own understanding. My ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. You may not always understand the path I lead you on, but I promise it is the best path for you. Faith is also about persistence. When you walk by faith, you continue to move forward even when the way is difficult. You trust that I am with you, guiding you, and providing for you every step of the way. Do not be discouraged when the road is long. Keep your eyes on me, and I will lead you through every challenge and into the fulfillment of my promises. I want you to remember that faith grows with practice. Each time you choose to trust me instead of relying on what you can see, your faith grows stronger. This is a journey, and I am with you every step of the way. Let go of your fears and doubts, and walk boldly in the faith that I am always with you. If you are ready to walk by faith, right I walk by faith and trust in God's unseen plans. My child, generosity is a reflection of my heart, and I have called you to be generous in every area of your life. When you give to others, whether it be your time, your resources, or your love, you are participating in my work of blessing the world. Generosity is not just about what you give, but about the spirit in which you give. I want you to give from a place of joy, knowing that I will always provide for your needs. I have blessed you so that you may be a blessing to others. Everything you have comes from me, and I ask you to use your blessings to help those around you. When you give freely, without expecting anything in return, you reflect my love and grace. Generosity is an act of faith, trusting that I will replenish what you give out of love and kindness. Do not be afraid to be generous, even when you feel like you don't have much to give. Whether it's a kind word, a helping hand, or financial support, I see your heart. I am not looking for the size of your gift, but the love behind it. When you give with a heart full of love, I will multiply your efforts in ways you cannot imagine. Generosity also brings blessings to your own life. When you give, you open yourself up to receive more of my goodness. It is through giving that you experience the fullness of joy, for in giving, you are participating in the flow of my love. I will always provide for your needs, and as you give to others, you will see how I pour out blessings in return. Remember that generosity is not just about material things. It is about giving of yourself, your time, your attention, your prayers. There are many people around you who need the gift of your love and kindness. 
be sensitive to the needs of others and allow my spirit to guide you in how you can bless those around you. If you are ready to embrace the blessings of generosity, write I am generous with God's blessings, trusting He will provide. My beloved, temptation is a part of life, and I know how challenging it can be to resist. The enemy will try to lure you away from the path I have set before you, offering you things that seem appealing in the moment. But I want you to know that you have the power to overcome temptation, not by your own strength, but through my spirit that lives within you. When you face temptation, remember that it is not a sin to be tempted. What matters is how you respond. The enemy may whisper lies to you, making you believe that giving in will bring you happiness or satisfaction. But I want you to know that true joy and fulfillment come from walking in my ways. What the enemy offers is fleeting and empty, but what I offer is eternal and full of life. I have given you everything you need to resist temptation. You are not powerless. Through prayer, through my word, and through the strength of my spirit, you can stand firm. When temptation comes, call on me, and I will give you the strength to say no. I will provide a way out, and I will walk with you through every challenge. It is also important to guard your heart and mind. Be mindful of the things you allow into your life, what you watch, what you listen to, and who you spend time with. Temptation often starts with small compromises. Stay vigilant and protect your heart from the things that might lead you away from me. I want you to know that even if you stumble, my grace is sufficient for you. I am always ready to forgive and restore you. Do not let guilt or shame keep you from coming back to me. I am full of mercy and I will help you overcome every temptation and grow stronger in your faith. If you are ready to overcome temptation with God's strength, right I stand strong in God's power to overcome every temptation. My dear one, I have created you with a unique purpose. You are not here by accident. I have a plan for your life and I want to reveal it to you step by step. Your purpose is not something you have to search for on your own. I will guide you and show you the way. Trust that I have placed gifts and talents within you that are meant to bless the world and bring glory to my name. Living with purpose means aligning your life with my will. It means seeking me daily and allowing me to lead you in all that you do. Your purpose is not just about what you accomplish, but about how you live each day. It is about walking in love, kindness, and integrity, and allowing my light to shine through you in every situation. You may feel unsure about what your purpose is, but I want you to know that I will reveal it to you in due time. For now, focus on being faithful in the small things. Each act of obedience, each step of faith, is part of your journey. Trust that I am guiding you, even when you cannot see the whole picture. Do not compare your purpose to that of others. I have created you for something unique, and your path is different from anyone else's. Celebrate the gifts I have given you, and trust that I will use them in ways that will impact those around you. When you walk in your purpose, you will find fulfillment, joy, and peace, for you are living in alignment with my will. Living with purpose also means trusting in my timing. There may be seasons when it feels like nothing is happening, but trust that I am preparing you for what is to come. Be patient, be faithful, and continue seeking me. I will reveal your purpose, and when the time is right, I will open doors that no one can close. If you are ready to live with purpose, right, I trust God's plan and purpose for my life. My beloved, I know the pain that you carry from the past. There have been moments in your life that have left deep wounds, and sometimes it feels like those wounds will never fully heal. But I want you to know that I am the great healer, and there is no hurt too deep for me to restore. I am with you in your pain, and I am working to bring healing to your heart. Healing is a process, and it takes time. Do not rush yourself or feel ashamed for still feeling the effects of past hurts. 
I am patient and I will walk with you through every step of your healing journey. Trust that as you bring your pain to me, I will bring comfort, peace, and restoration. You do not have to carry this burden alone, I am here to carry it with you. Part of healing is allowing yourself to grieve what has been lost. It's okay to feel sadness, anger, or confusion. These emotions are natural, and I want you to bring them to me. I can handle your pain, and I will help you work through it. Do not hold it in or try to bury it. Healing comes when you allow yourself to feel and then release those feelings to me. I also want you to know that forgiveness is a key part of healing. Holding on to bitterness or resentment will only keep the wound open. Forgiveness is not about excusing the wrongs that have been done to you, but about freeing yourself from the chains of anger. When you forgive, you open the door for healing to flow into your heart. I have a future for you that is full of hope and joy. The past does not define you, and the pain you have experienced does not have the final word. I am making all things new, and I will turn your mourning into joy. Trust in my healing power, and know that I am with you every step of the way. If you are ready to embrace healing, write I trust God to heal my heart and restore my soul. My child, I know that finances can be a source of stress and worry for you. There may be times when it feels like there isn't enough, or when you are unsure how you will make ends meet. But I want you to know that I am your provider. Just as I care for the birds of the air and the flowers of the field, I care for you. I will supply all of your needs according to my riches and glory. Trusting me with your finances means surrendering your worries about money to me. It means believing that I will provide for you, even when the situation looks uncertain. I am not limited by the economy, by your job, or by any earthly circumstance. I am the source of all provision, and I will take care of you. I also ask you to be wise with what I have given you. Stewardship is important. I want you to be responsible with your resources, to use them in ways that honor me and reflect your trust in my provision. Be generous and do not be afraid to give, knowing that I will always take care of your needs. When you give with a joyful heart, you are participating in the flow of my blessings. Do not let money become a source of anxiety. Worry only steals your peace, but faith allows you to rest in the knowledge that I am in control. Bring your financial concerns to me in prayer, and I will give you wisdom and guidance. Trust that I will open doors for new opportunities, and that I will provide for you in ways you cannot even imagine. Remember that your true wealth is not measured by earthly standards, but by your relationship with me. I have blessed you with spiritual riches that far surpass anything this world can offer. When you focus on me, you will find peace and contentment, no matter your financial situation. If you are ready to trust God with your finances, write I trust God to provide for all my needs. My beloved, peace is one of the greatest gifts I offer you. It is not the fleeting peace that the world offers, but a deep and abiding peace that comes from knowing me. This peace is available to you at all times, no matter what is happening in your life. I want you to live in my peace, to let it fill your heart and mind, and to rest in the assurance that I am with you. Living in peace means trusting that I am in control, even when circumstances are difficult. It means releasing your worries, your fears, and your anxieties to me, knowing that I care for you. When you allow my peace to rule in your heart, you are able to face challenges with a calm spirit, confident that I am working all things together for your good. Peace is not the absence of trouble, but the presence of my spirit within you. Even in the midst of storms, you can have peace because I am with you. Do not let the noise of the world steal your peace. Focus on me, and I will keep you in perfect peace. When your mind is fixed on me, the worries of the world will fade away. I want you to practice living in peace daily. 
Start each day by surrendering your cares to me in prayer and end each day by thanking me for my presence in your life. When you make peace a priority, you will find that it becomes easier to maintain even in the face of challenges. My peace is a gift freely given to you, receive it and let it transform your heart. I also encourage you to be a peacemaker in your relationships. Extend grace to others, forgive quickly, and seek reconciliation where there has been conflict. When you live in peace with others, you reflect my heart and bring my love into the world. Let peace be the foundation of your life, and you will see how it changes everything. If you are ready to live in God's peace, write God's peace fills my heart and mind.